Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna share with you the recipe to peanut bao. This is actually my favorite steam bun and I remember having a lot of this when I was a kid but throughout the years, for some reason, people just stopped making them and it became really, really difficult to find this. And I also remember making this together with my auntie who loves baking. If you're also a fan of peanut bao, let me know in the comment box below and we can be best friends. So today I'm going to share with you the recipe and I hope you try it out and I hope you like it. So let's get started. So let's start with the peanut filling. Here I'm using salted peanuts because I just couldn't find the unsalted ones. However, I realized it would be better if you roast the peanuts beforehand for an even better taste. Texture-wise, all you're really after is a rough texture where you still can feel the granules. So if you're using a blender, make sure you don't end up making them too fine. Anyway, here I'm just pounding the peanuts and then mixing it with the sugar. So here's the texture that you should be after. Next with the dough, this is really quite easy. Basically, in a large mixing bowl, pour in all the ingredients, the flour, sugar, yeast, baking powder, cooking oil and warm milk. Then mix well to combine. What's great about this is that you don't actually need to knead it a lot, but rather just enough to combine everything into a bowl. After which, you want to cover it with a damp towel and leave it in a warm place for at least half an hour. After half an hour, remove the towel and surprise, your dough should have doubled in size and now it should be rather soft and fluffy. At this stage, it will be so fun to knead. So here, I just knead it for about 2 minutes and then roll them out evenly. Then slice the dough into half and then half and then half again. You should get about 8 even pieces for this recipe. You should leave the dough in a bowl and cover with a damp cloth while you work your way through each of them. Next, take one piece of dough and flatten it with your palm and try your best to push the dough outwards to form a circle. Next, with a rolling pin, roll the dough out like so. Scoop about one and a half tablespoons of peanut filling into the center of the dough. Then wrap it up by picking the ends of the dough and bringing them into the middle. Next, flip it over and form it into a smooth round ball by smoothening out the sides with your palm. I find this step a little bit difficult to master, as you can clearly see it doesn't look as great as I expected. But it does take some patience and perseverance and of course a lot of practice. But with the right attitude, I'm sure you will see some good results. Anyway, once you're done, place the bao on baking paper. Then, using a damp cloth again, cover the top and leave it in a warm place for about 20 minutes. After that, you will be greeted with your fluffed up bows that are ready for steaming. So, place them in the steamer, make sure they don't touch each other as they will continue to fluff up slightly during the process and you want to steam it for about 15 minutes. 
And after that, your morning tea slash afternoon tea slash breakfast the next day is ready. Best to be eaten right away, but you can also freeze them after it has completely cooled down. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe and thumbs up if you are familiar with this peanut bao or if you think it would be something you will enjoy. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe for new recipes to come and I'll see you all soon. Bye.